Welcome! Let's make a cookie cutter. This is my process for making a cookie cutter file for my 3D printer. Um, I start by going to Google and getting some image references for whatever my uh, thing is. And today it's the Monica Lewinsky blue dress because <laughs> on my last mystery cutter post several people guessed that and it made me LOL. So I take like a good isolated picture shot See how it's got that nice white background? Ooh, that's gonna make things so easy. Put it in Illustrator if you don't have Illustrator. I don't know what to tell you because I use Illustrator for everything. Get it? I don't know. Okay, and then I play around with the image trace settings. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Clean up that background. I'm just gonna use Pathfinder to make a solid shape. Turn it black because why not? And then I add a Stroke on the outside with rounded edges because that little arm cut would have been a nightmare in cookie form. So yeah, just kind of making a blob outline. I will pipe the arms in, but you don't want them too thin because then they'll break and all that fun stuff. I am rambling. But yeah, I like to keep a reference photo. Ooh, ah. Uh. Okay, so what I'm doing here is... Um, path, offset path, and I'm going to put it to 0.2 inches, and this is going to be the base of the cutter, so the, the part that you like hold on to, and I don't know what this little thing is, so I'm going to delete that. Bye-bye. Um, okay, so this is the base, so I have to save it as an SVG, so I'm just going to call it, ooh, I can type, Monica's Dress, and this is the base. Use the artboards, number 15, because my illustrator files are always huge. Okay, undo, path, offset path again. And this time we're going to do the walls. So I do a 0 0.04 inch wall on my LL cutters. Monica dress again. Do you see how I just cut and pasted that? Wow. Okay, and the last one we're going to do the edge. And this one is very tiny, and I do 0 0.02 inches for the cutting edge. <clears throat> I just like that. Did I just clear my throat into the microphone? Dear God, I'm not going to delete this. This is like my fifth take and I'm really annoyed with myself already. Okay, throw that one away. Okay, so I have my three SVG files that I'm going to take into Tinkercad. Um, create a new design. It gives it a fun, stupid name. Ooh, Stunning Crunk. Pretty sure that's my wrapper name. Okay, so I start with the base, import it. Ooh la la. Ugh. So that's bad. We don't want that. Let's just get rid of that guy. Let's see if the other files are screwed up because sometimes they do that and I don't know why because I'm not very good at this. I've only been doing this for like a month, so bear with me. Okay, there's the walls. That one turned out fine. Okay, the edge. Ooh, meow, brown cow. Okay, those two are fine. Let's go back and fix that base one. Might have had something to do with that weird line that I had to delete, so we're gonna undo that one. Let's do path, offset path, and the 0.2 for the base again. Save that as an SVG. Oop, not a video. There we go. Replace the old one. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold your breath, people. Okay. No idea what happened on that last one, but um, my amazing problem-solving skills have saved the day. Okay, I like to change it to inches because I don't know how to do conversions um, in my head. And I'm a dirty little American. Oh, look, Bethany Texas. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to apparently go back and look at the Monica picture again. Okay, so I just need to make this one a little lower so I can have access to those other two. I'm going to switch back to millimeters because this is how I do things, okay? Don't argue with me. Now I'm going to make the cutting edge 15 millimeters high because that's just what I found is nice to use. <laughs> okay, the walls I'm going to do 13 millimeters high and then I do the base 3 millimeters high. And I have toyed with these. This is just what I typically do. Oh, now we got to make it blue because it's her blue dress. And let's reverse it. There we go. It doesn't really matter. But I want it to look exactly like the picture. And then I export it. Oh, there's an audio text. Export it as an STL. It goes to my downloads. 
pull that little guy out. Ooh. And then I pull up my flash print because I use a Flash Forge 3D printer. And I put it in there. Okay, it's too big because I wasn't paying attention. So um, this is where I'm deciding whether to redo the video. But then I'm like, ugh, I'm eight minutes in or whatever. Let's just do this. So let's go back to Flash Print load that guy again it loaded it and then i loaded it wrong again so i had to do it. <laughs> okay put it on the platform and then we're going to scale it i usually don't do this in here i usually do it in tinkercad but whatever it doesn't really matter i always print with a brim because i have terrible luck see it adds that little brim to help stabilize things and there's my little gx file that's the end okay this is kind of terrible, but I promise I'll get better. I love you guys. Bye.